Welcome to my paragliding vlog. So I went and had a training on how to paraglide for two and a half weeks in Austria. And I thought I'm going to create a little video for you to share with you all the lovely pictures and videos that I took and others took of me as well. And then I'm going to share with you in between of how it actually was to go through a two week flying training. How did I experience it? Because let me tell you now, it was hard work. So I hope you enjoy it and yeah, let's get started. <laughs> So the first four days we spent at the practice hill, which was a wide open field and then it went up the hill bit by bit so we could always improve day by day and go further up. So at the beginning we started at the bottom and we just learned how to pull up that paraglide and just walk around with it and experience how it is to have it <laughs> above your head. And then day by day we went a little bit higher so we learned how to start then we flew a few meters and then we learned how to land so that's really the most important bit in paragliding that you know how to start and how to land because when you're flying that's mostly what the paraglide does you don't have to do that much really <laughs> so that's what we did and let me tell you it was so tiring to do this for four days back to back because at the every time you landed at the bottom again you had to pick up your paraglide and of course you had your harness on which was heavy as well and you had to carry it all the way up the hill again so that was really tiring the first four days are really the hardest of a training on how to learn how to paraglide but then it gets better so yeah it was fantastic of course because that's when we started already flying for the first few meters and the first meters up which was very exciting and that's when i got as well the worst bruises i've ever had in my life my whole arms here at the top were completely all bruised because every time you kind of fall or you do something not correctly because you're learning right you had the strings of the paraglide going that way because that's how it was attached to your harness so every time you would do something wrong it would slam kind of with full force into your arms but thankfully i'm not going to share the pictures of those with you so don't worry about it but let's have a look how it looked like on the practice hill Then we were ready to have our first proper flight. 800 meters difference from the starting point to the landing point. So yeah, we went up there and let me tell you that was the biggest overcoming of myself and my fears that I had to do. 
obviously the first time that you actually run off of a mountain is pretty impressive but you get rewarded with the most amazing feeling once you're flying all by yourself so high up in the air and have the most amazing view over Austria and Bodensee it was just incredible sadly I don't really have any footage of me starting during that whole week but I have a couple of landings and first of all I will share with you my first landing because a friend of mine took a video of me which is quite exciting so let's have a look So that's what we then did. Every day we did about two, three, some people did even four flights per day until it was just too windy and uplifting for us beginners to go out. And let me tell you, it got even more tiring because we just never had a break. The weather was so fantastic that we never stopped flying. But I listened to my body and on day 13, after 12 days of flying <laughs> non-stop, I took a day off. I just had to listen to my body and my mind and I needed some time away. So everybody else went again flying and I enjoyed watching them, filming them a bit. And then at the top of the mountain where we would normally start, we had a fantastic panorama walk, which I did, which was about one to one and a half hours. And I'm just going to share with you the amazing views that I was able to capture on that fantastic walk on my day off. Enjoy! <laughs>
So where am I after these two weeks with paragliding? I passed both of my exams. We had to do one after the first week, which was the easier and shorter one. And then we had to do as well. Well, we were able to do. We didn't have to do it yet, but I took the last exam for the pilot license, which I passed as well. So yay. <laughs> and I have 21 of the 40 flights that I have to capture and do for my pilot license. So I'm about halfway through. And I have two choices now. I can either go back in a couple of months and finish my flights, the number of flights, but as well the exams, so the flying exams, not just the tests. Or I can do it here. But if I do it here where it's more flat, I have to be pulled up with the rope and which is attached to your body which is a little bit more scary to think about probably not scary at all but i think i will first check it out and actually watch other people do it before i decide to do it that way so that's my two options and yeah i'm just hoping to keep going and enjoying this amazing sport um, it's a fantastic sport that you can learn the basics very quickly and then I think it will take much longer to really get good at it. So I am really invested to get good at it. I even have my own gear already. It's all here with me, so I could start again very soon. But yeah, I will keep you updated. I'm sure I'm going to do more videos about it if I keep going. But I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm still at the end now going to share with you one last video of a landing. And that is kind of my typical landing. Because let me tell you, landing is the one thing that I still have to learn a lot about. So thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope you... <laughs> Enjoy my last landing that I'm going to share with you. Bye-bye.